right, so again, here I am at Horror Hound. Uh -uh, represent, yeah. And just got out of the screening of One Must Fall. Now, remember the trailer reaction? We were promised some gore. Did they deliver? Let's find out. <laughs> Gotta let you know up front, this is gonna be a spoiler filled review. So if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. you're here. So just to make sure we're all on the same page, basic premise, a crime scene cleanup crew comes into a big huge warehouse where there's been a crime scene, murder specifically, and boom, surprise, the serial murderer or murderer, <laughs> I don't even know if serial does not justice, is still there. Boom, and he starts taking them off one at a time, and hilarity ensues. We begin with likes, and I gotta say, it looks like Pinhead brought your little mini-me today, huh? Well, chime in if you feel you have something to contribute. Regardless, ah, so what I liked about the film was a handful of things. First and foremost, this is a indie film, all right? And the budget is very, very small, but they really got a tremendous bang for the buck. That is to say, very wisely, uh, you know, they limited the locations to just a handful. Um, I no doubt that it was some abandoned building somewhere. Awesome. And when it came to the gore, they gave us good gore, right? They, they did. Um, you have to keep in mind that it's a shoestring budget, right? And, and gore costs money, especially good gore. So very smartly, their gore was brief and peppered in. And as much as I would love a nonstop gore fest, I understand the constraints of the budget. So, I have seen indie movies that have no budget and try to do gore and fail, and this is not one of them. They do it and they do it well, and I give mad, mad props for that. Second of all, uh, one of the actors, who I suspect was not acting, um, really stood out. That was the, Todd, uh, the guy who played Todd, his name's Todd. Uh, it's his only credit. I suspect it was just kind of him, but he was just a very good, cool character. His acting was well and what was kind of otherwise a mixed bag of acting, which we'll get to in a little while. <clears throat> um, I said for the trailer action, I liked the premise, and I did. Um, you know, crime scene uh, cleanup is not something we've really seen, and gives a little opportunity to throw some little cheap gore in with body parts and brain splatter and whatnot, and then go a little bit deeper with the whole killer plot thing. So, definitely kudos on those things. All right, on the dislike side of things, um, I have to say the acting was definitely a mixed Bag. There were standouts, um, especially the, the, the not just Todd, but the, the boss of the uh, cleanup crew. He was really good. The boss at the agency where she worked beforehand, that sexually molested her, was terrible. Just hammed it up terribly. Um, you know, I, again, that's to be expected on the indie level, um, but because you had the standout actors, it made the not so standout that much more obvious. Um, the other thing that I didn't like was, this is totally a personal preference thing on my part, it appeared to me, and certainly open to discussion, whether that they kind of knew which way they wanted to go. That is to say, is it a horror, is it comedy? Um, because it's definitely not a horror comedy. That is to say, you know, as soon as you throw Lloyd Kaufman in, you're like, oh crap, we're off the rails. There were some things, I think that the sexual harassment scenes and the guy playing the, the, the Real to real was supposed to be funny, you know. It didn't really come off as much. And then as soon as you go and start ripping people's faces off, you know, we're not supposed to be laughing at that. Um, so you know, tonally a little, you know, certainly not horrible. I just think that either you're going to go one direction or go the other direction because on the gore side of things, you did very very well. So maybe stick with that. You know, give us something a la terrifier, and we'll, we'll have gold. Uh, so yeah, it was a slight, you know, some issues, not the end of the world, but definitely something that, that came up as I was watching. All right, it is pinhead time. Clearly, you know, I had some good, I had some bad, as far as I'm concerned, they're about evened out. So I'm gonna go right down the middle of this one and give it a three, even though I only have two here, three pinhead movie. Well, they pretty much all fell, and I'm happy about that. For you guys, let me know in the comment section below. And hey, you know what? While you're here, give me a solid hit that subscribe button. 
hit the little notification button. Very, very important. Otherwise, how are you going to know when new stuff comes up? And like the video.